In the late 90s and early 2000s, Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt were the it couple. They were hot, tan, and talented. And then with the filming of Mr. and Mrs. Smith, they fell apart and the birth of the biggest tabloid scandal of our time was born. Today, we'll be diving deep into the scandal and looking back with a more modern lens and perspective. Our story begins in 1998 when Jen and Brad were set up on a date by their managers. Jen is a Nepo baby who became a star due to her breakout role as Rachel Green in Friends. In Hollywood, she represented the stunning girl next door. Shy, sweet, approachable, and yet clearly still so much better than the rest of us mere mortals. Brad, on the other hand, was a country boy hailing from the great state of Missouri with his breakout role in Ridley Scott's Thelma and Louise. Together, they were the golden couple. I mean, literally look at them. It feels like they are glowing from the inside out. In 2000, they were married in front of their 200 friends and family, and it is speculated that the event cost around $1 million. For a long time, that price tag seemed worth it because the relationship appeared absolutely fabulous. In 2001, Brad Pitt guest starred on Friends as Will Corbet, the president of the I Hate Rachel Green fan club. In 2002, they co-founded Plan B Entertainment, a production company that produced Troy as well as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. In 2004, Jennifer announced in an interview that it was finally time for them to start having kids. It truly seemed like everything was perfect. They were beautiful, they were talented, they were wealthy, successful, they had everything, and now they were ready to start their perfect little family. And then out of the shadows appeared the woman that would destroy it all, Angelina Jolie. Angelina was a beautiful vixen, a Nepo baby, and an Oscar award-winning actress. Famous for being weird as hell, Angelina most notably wore a vial of her husband Billy Bob Thornton's blood around her neck and kissed her adult brother on the mouth, not one time, but multiple times. She's an odd lady who just so happens to be a solid 10 out of 10 and has a lot of talent to boot. It is now the summer of 2004 and Angelina and Brad star opposite each other in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's a sexy action comedy, and according to the two, it is also where they fell in love. While rumors were swirling around, Brad and Jen finally separated in January of 2005, and Jen filed for divorce in March. Then in July, Brad and Angelina are featured in a 60-page spread in W Magazine titled Domestic Bliss. It shows them portraying a 1950s traditional marriage with kids. At this time, they had still not confirmed if they were a couple, so basically they were just pouring more gasoline on the fire. Rumors started that the reason why Brad left Jennifer was because Jennifer refused to have children, rather she was focused on her career. This made her appear hungry and unfeminine. In contrast, Angelina had rebranded herself from sexy freak to humanitarian goddess. She had begun working as a goodwill ambassador for the UN, and she had also adopted Maddox, her first child from Cambodia, and then she adopted Zahara from Ethiopia. And at the time, it was believed that Zahara had been orphaned by AIDS. Suddenly, Angelina was a warm, caring, motherly figure. According to sources around Jennifer, Brad had never really been fully set on having children, while Jen had been. They felt that Brad hadn't done enough to dispel these rumors surrounding Jen and her motherhood journey, and they also believed that he had done that on purpose. Rather than looking like a cheater, he got to be a sympathetic character who was able to escape his ultra-feminist wife and find true domestic bliss. Photos of Angelina and Brad with her adopted children were everywhere, and it really made them look like a family unit. Of course, some people still felt that Angelina was the other woman and Jen was the true victim. Tabloid story titles ranged from Jen is devastated, Jen is furious, Jen gets revenge, Jen has a new man, Jen is over Brad. People were selling Team Jen and Team Angelina shirts and Eva Longoria was even spotted in a shirt that said, I'll have your baby Brad. Looking back, we can see that the conversation really was... Which of these two women deserves Brad? When really it should have been, does Brad deserve either of these women, if any women at all? But over time, many of us forgot how Brangelina came to be. They adopted a total of three children and had three biological children of their own. 
Angelina continued to be deeply involved in humanitarian work, while her and Brad's acting careers continued to skyrocket, making them the A-list couple. And what happened to Jen? Well, she went on to have a successful career, of course not as prestigious, but that's not what got her the most attention. Instead, whenever Jennifer was in the tabloids, the topic was always, when will Jennifer find a husband? When will Jennifer have kids? Is Jennifer pregnant? Jennifer ate a cupcake and now she's bloated. Is it a baby though? When will Jennifer finally find the happiness that she deserves? This is based on the sexist idea that women will only ever be fulfilled once they're married with children, while men such as Leonardo DiCaprio can traipse around with 25-year-old models and no one ever wonders if he's depressed and empty. Unfortunately, Brangelina did not end up being endgame. In 2016, on a private jet ride home from a vacation with the entire family, an altercation occurred that was the final straw for their marriage. At the time, not that much information was available, other than that there had been some kind of altercation between Brad and Maddox, their oldest son, I believe, and according to Angelina, it had gotten physical, while Brad said to the contrary. The tabloids immediately turned on Angelina, making her out to seem conniving, and returning to the 2000s narrative that she was really just a weirdo. Brad came out completely unscathed. The story quickly died down, and it wasn't brought up again until Brad sued Angelina in 2022. Apparently, when Brad and Angelina were married, they had both co-owned a vineyard, and they had promised that they would not sell any of their shares because that would, like, undermine the ownership of the other partner. And so he sued her because she sold her shares to Stoli, which is a liquor company. And then she came forward and said that that was untrue, that this agreement did not exist. She had apparently tried to sell Brad her shares, but Brad said that he would only buy them if she signed a document stating that she would never again bring up what had happened on that plane ride. And of course she refused. And then she went to the judge and the judge had signed off saying that she was allowed to sell the shares. And when she did that, Stoli sued Brad for mismanagement of the vineyard and then Brad sued Angelina in turn and also I think countersued Stoli. So he's feeling really lawsuit happy right now. By suing Angelina, Brad kind of triggered a new situation in which Angelina decided, in fact, I will be speaking about what happened. And she also anonymously filed for FOIA, aka the Freedom of Information Act, so that the report that the FBI made, the FBI investigated the plane incident, and she wanted the report to become public knowledge. According to the FBI report, Angelina said that Brad had been drinking and had had a tense interaction with one of the children, and then asked Angelina to come to the back of the jet with him. Once in the bathroom, he allegedly grabbed her and pushed her into the wall, telling her that she was ruining the family. Two of their children stood on the other side of the wall crying and asked if their mom was okay, to which Brad replied, no, she's not. She's ruining the family. One of the children responded to him, which enraged Brad. He then went after the child and Angelina, thinking that Brad would attack them, got him into a chokehold and Brad fell back on top of her. Now, obviously, if this story is true, it is absolutely horrifying and very understandable why Angelina immediately filed for divorce. Sources close to Brad, aka people from his camp who were told slash paid to give information to tabloids, stated that Angelina already had access to all of these reports. Both her and Brad had had access since 2016. So her filing this FOIA was in fact just a way for her to stir the pot. You know, bring this back into the media, drag Brad's name through the mud. Angelina then countersued Brad, claiming that he had choked one of the children. The tabloids responded by saying that Angelina is a scorned woman who wants to ruin Brad's life. Suddenly, we're back in 2005 with the narrative that Jolie is a bad influence. And Pitt is the innocent charmer caught in the drama. The difference this time, though, is that Angelina doesn't have the clout that she used to have. She hasn't acted since 2014. 
She has done some directorial work, but most of it was a flop. I doubt many of you have seen it. And on the other hand, Brad Pitt has been absolutely popping off. He was in Babylon. He was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and probably a bunch of other movies that I didn't see. But the point is, is that he's definitely still an A-lister and Angelina's more like maybe C-list now. Still beautiful, still talented, but she's just not working and getting the accolades that she used to. This means that unlike last time, Angelina is not able to pivot her brand, especially because even her virtue of motherhood, which was her greatest asset last time, has been taken from her. It is clear that the children don't like Brad. Pax's Instagram post that had been posted privately in 2020, which has now become public, he says the most awful things about Brad, basically saying that he's not his father. And then recently, Zahara um, was at her sorority event where she was announced, and they did not say the Pitt part of her last name. She legally is Jolie Pitt, and they just said Jolie. So it appears that the children are not fans of Brad Pitt anymore. But none of this matters because people, sources, the media are saying that Angelina poisoned the children against Brad, which makes her look awful. And it's very similar to what Woody Allen did to Mia Farrow back in the day. Apparently, Angelina is bitter and willing to sacrifice the relationship that her children have with their father for her own gain. And that is how you lose the Mother of the Year award. The same people on social media who turned against Amber Heard during the Heard versus Depp trial are the ones who are currently preparing to go after Angelina. I think we need to begin asking ourselves, why are we so willing to forgive the men? Why are we so willing to put what they do or what is said about them, just brush it under the rug? As much as we like to pretend that we've come so far from 2005, the proof is in the pudding. We may no longer be bullying female celebrities for being larger than a size zero, but the media machine is definitely still protecting male stars much more than the women. And it doesn't matter how charitable or beautiful the woman is. If the man that she's up against is a top billing star, then she better prepare herself for the ride of her life that will be riddled with misogyny coming from the tabloids as well as strangers on the internet. Well, I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts on the deep dive. I had so much fun making this video. I want to hear your opinions on my overall analysis, the story, as well as like if you remember this era, if you remember seeing these stories and all the tabloids in the grocery store aisles and what you thought then versus what you think now. Uh, If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give a like and a subscribe, and I will see you next time.